This is The Shape of Tomorrow Evening, beginning at 6.35, when Jim fixes it for going live to have a new presenter. Opportunity knocks for more hopefuls wishing to secure a place in the limelight at ten past seven, hosted by one of the greatest stars ever produced by the show, Les Dawson. And then in our film at eight, Perry Mason returns, starring Raymond Burr, who resigns as a judge so that he can defend his long-time assistant, Della Street, who's facing a charge of murder. Following the news and sport at 9.30, the advice is follow your nose to a veritable cornucopia of comedy at 9.50, featuring a wealth of talent in the very best of comic relief. The comedy and entertainment continues at 10.30 in Paramount City, the first in a new series featuring the best in humour and music from Britain and America. And then rounding off the evening, George C. Scott and Marlon Brando star in our late film, The Formula, at 10 past 11, in which a murder investigation leads to a trail of bodies which appear to be inextricably linked to the Genesis Project and a secret formula developed by the Nazis. Tomorrow night on BBC One.
now let's take a look at the weather, shall we? Cloud over northwest England and southern Scotland will break overnight, leading to a few mist and fog patches. Northern Ireland and northwest Scotland will remain rather cloudy, with a little drizzle chiefly over the hills. The rest of the country will be clear, with temporary mist patches forming around dawn. Any mist will soon clear tomorrow morning to leave a dry, warm day with plenty of sunshine in many places. However, cloud will again be reluctant to clear the far north and west of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Light onshore winds may keep some southern and eastern coasts rather cool, but inland the temperature will reach 14 to 16 degrees Celsius generally and as high as 18 degrees Celsius, 64 degrees Fahrenheit in a few spots. That's the key. This is my dad. That's my sister. This is my mum. And my mum. She always waits there. She worries when we're not all home. Mum and dad worry when I am. Mind you don't burn yourself. Dry yourself properly. You'll ruin your eyes. And every Saturday morning when me and Mum go shopping, my nan always tells me to look out for the traffic. Me! It's Mum she should be telling. When she wants to get to the shop opposite, she just takes off. She doesn't bother with the crossing. We've been told at school not to go between parked cars, but to use the crossings. And my Mum says that's quite right when you're young. At home there's all that sit up and eat up, otherwise you won't grow up to be big and strong and healthy. And outside, where there are cars and lorries and buses wagging past, my mum should be wearing l paints crossing the road. Good job she doesn't drive. My dad does, and he's very careful, but he doesn't always practice what he preaches. Me and him had been up in the park Sunday morning. Then he remembered we hadn't bought a car. But I started walking to the subway, and he tells me to make us late for our dinner. It's very funny how grown-ups can always be right, even when they're wrong. <coughs> now, if anybody had tried that when he'd been driving, he'd have done his nut. The best, though, was when I was with Mum. Me and her are on our way home after getting me more shoes. Anyway, we have to cross the road. And she didn't even see the car coming. She was about to tell the driver what she thought about him, and he was out the car to do the same. And you know who he was? My dad! In our new car. We could have all finished up as mincemeat. And you tell me how they would have explained that to my man. And uh, there we come to the end of BBC One for another night. But as usual, let me point you in the direction of BBC Radio. We're well, trying to contain herself on Radio One. There's the ranking Miss P. One on Radio Two, Alan Dedicate is saddled up, bit between his teeth, for a night ride. And if you're one of those clever people who can pick up a film halfway through, then you might even tune to BBC Two, where they're engrossed in King Rat. But from all of us here on BBC One, this is David Miles wishing you a very peaceful night and an enjoyable weekend. Good night.
seconds. Twenty seconds. Thirty seconds. 